The Mercedes SL R230 is brought into the workshop because the Vario roof won't open. The Roadster possesses a hard top, which normally electrohydraulically folds back into the boot. To find the problem, we connect to the star diagnosis. Now do a quick test. The error was found and so click on the error. Confirm with F3. In the control device UVS, you can see what the current error is. One of the end switches retracted, does not work or has a bad connection. Confirm the error code with F3. However, the problem can occur without error code. Before you start to work on the side flap, turn off the ignition. The star diagnosis requires that you disconnect the connection to the side flap. To do this, open the trunk lid. Now you see that the right side flap is hanging down. As a result, the micro switch no longer engages. The reason for this is that over the years, the movement has worn out the side flap and the bearing plate is bent. Therefore, the gear wheel no longer connects properly. The good news is, the whole drive system must not be replaced, just the bearing plate. First loosen the lock nut of the Bowden cable of the side flap drive. Turn the nut three times anti-clockwise. Use a grease pencil and set your starting point. This should help, especially as the screw is difficult to access and it's not possible to turn in one movement. Turn the nut until you see the mark for the third time. The tension in the side flap is now released. Disconnect the electric connection and then unscrew these three nuts. Now you can take out the complete part. In the next step, with a Torx T30, unscrew two Torx screws at the back of the bearing plate. Now separate the side flap and the bearing plate. Make sure that the side flap, the bearing plate and the gear wheel come undone. And now the gear wheel can be easily taken from the bearing plate. For the last step, disconnect the bearing plate from the Bowden cable. The bearing plate is difficult to remove and it may be necessary to use some force. At the top of the screen is the bent bearing plate we removed from the vehicle. It's clear to see that the plate is bent and there's also a crack, so the gear wheel can no longer engage. The new bearing plate has been modified to provide for greater stability. You can see in the lower part of your screen that the sides have been made thicker. Therefore, they're not as easily bent. The bearing plate must always be replaced on both sides because you can presume that the other side, if not already bent, may bend soon. For this reason, the repair kit always contains two bearing plates and four screws. You can order the repair kit from the number on your screen. Now you can install the new improved bearing plate. To make the installation easier, use a little grease on the Bowden cable. Grease the cone of the set nut too. Be sure to use the appropriate grease. Push the Bowden cable in so far until the set nut and the bearing plate are flush. If need be, use a rubber hammer and in the next step, fit the gear wheel. The first gear should align with the edge of the bearing plate. When this fits correctly, get a workmate to help you with the next step as attaching and screwing the bearing plate is a little tricky. Make sure that the side flap fits tightly with the Bowden cable, otherwise a correct adjustment is not possible. When everything fits tightly, you can tighten the torque screws first by hand and then with a pressure of 10 Newton meters. Now the side flap is once again connected to the trunk lid. The nut for the side flap drive is also tightened with 10 Newton meters. And of course the bearing plate is to be renewed on the other side. 
Now adjust the set nut of the Bowden cable so that the side flap fits flush against the trunk lid. Finally tighten the nut with another one and a half turns in order to meet the required tension. The setting of the side flaps is described in the VIS document. In the last step, turn the lock nut. When everything was done correctly, the roof should now open and the side flaps run parallel to each other. Take note that the side flaps move equally and lie on the trunk lid. The roof now opens with a touch of a button and you see that the installation of the bearing plate was successful. Now that the top closes correctly, nothing stands in the way of the customer's driving pleasure. After the test, erase the error memory in the star diagnosis. This repair is shown in the following this document.